So here's the first practice problem that we're going to work on. A 2.5 liter container holds 0.45 moles of nitrogen gas at 315 Kelvin. What is the pressure inside the container? Well, let's write down what we know. So we know the volume is 2.5 liters. N represents the number of moles. That's 0.45 moles. And the temperature is 315 Kelvin. Our goal is to calculate the pressure. So we could simply use this formula. PV is equal to NRT. Our goal is to calculate P. V is 0.45. Actually, no, V is 2.5, N is 0.45, and R is 0 0.08206, and the temperature is 315. So let's multiply 0.45 times 0 0.08206 times 315. So that's equal to 11.63. Now, to get P by itself, we got to divide both sides by 2.5. So it's 11.632 divided by 2.5, and that's going to give you a pressure of 4.653 atm. And so this is the answer to this problem. Let's move on to number two. 1.3 moles of argon gas is placed in a container at 27 degrees Celsius at a pressure of 725 torr. What is the volume of the container in milliliters? So we have N. N is 1.3 moles. Now this is the temperature in Celsius, but we need the temperature in Kelvin. So to calculate the Kelvin temperature, we need to add 273 to the Celsius temperature. So that's going to be 27 plus 273, which is 300 Kelvin. So always make sure that temperature is in Kelvin when dealing with gas laws and air equations. Now the pressure is in Tor, so we need to convert that to ATM. So let's start with what we're given, 725 torr. And the conversion factor is it's 1 ATM, which is equivalent to 760 torr. So to convert torr to ATM, just divide by 760. 725 divided by 760 is 0.9 5395 ATM. So now we can calculate the volume. So let's use this equation, the ideal gas law equation. So P is 0.95395 multiplied by V. N is 1.3. R is going to be the same, 0 0.08206, and the temperature is 300 Kelvin. So let's multiply the three numbers on the right. 1.3 times 0 0.08206 times 300, that's about 32.003. So now let's divide both sides by that number. So on the left side, we can cancel these two. And so V is 32 divided by 0 0.95395. 395. And so that's going to be 33.54 liters. Now we want the answer in milliliters. So we need to convert it. So how can we convert liters into milliliters? Well, here's how you can uh, set it up. 
one liter is equivalent to 1,000 milliliters. So all you need to do is just multiply by 1,000. So 33 times 1,000 is like 33,000. So this is going to be 33,540 milliliters. So that's the answer to this problem. Number three, how many grams of CO2 should be placed in a 250 milliliter container at negative 24 degrees Celsius to produce a pressure of 95 kilopascals? So how can we calculate the mass? Well, using the formula PV equals NRT, we can calculate N, the moles, and then using the molar mass, we can convert that to grams. So let's make a list of what we know. The pressure is in kilopascals, so therefore, we need to convert it into ATM. Let's do that first. Now, the conversion factor between KPA and ATM is 1 ATM is equal to 101.3 KPA. So, to convert KPA into ATM, divide it by 101.3. And so that's going to amount to 0.9378 ATM. Now we have the volume. The volume is in milliliters. To convert that to liters, divided by 1,000. So 250 divided by 1,000 is 0.25. Let me get rid of this. Next, we have the temperature, which is negative 24 degrees Celsius. So we got to convert that to Kelvin by adding 273 to it. So negative 24 plus 273 is equal to a Kelvin temperature of 249. So with this information, we can now calculate the moles. So using the formula PV, is equal to NRT. P is 0.9378. The volume is 0.25 liters. And we have the value of R, that's 0 0.08206. And T is 249 Kelvin. So first, let's multiply 0.9378 by 0.25. So that's 0.23445. And then on the right side, let's multiply 0 0.08206 by 249. And so that's 20.433 times n. So to calculate n, we need to divide point 23445 by 20.433. And you should get 0 0.01147 moles. Let me make sure I type that in correctly. Alright, so now all we need to do is convert the moles into grams. In order to do that, we need to get the molar mass of CO2 which is composed of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. The atomic mass of carbon is 12.01, and the atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So 2 times 16, that's 32, plus 12.01, that's uh, 44.01 grams per mole. So we have 0 0.01147 moles of carbon dioxide gas. And one mole of CO2 has a mass of 44.01 grams. So we just got to multiply 44.01 by 0 0.01147. And so this is equal to 0 0.505 grams of CO2. And so that's the answer. So if you need to use the ideal gas law equation, and if you need to calculate the number of grams of substance, Find the moles first, 
and then convert it to grams. Or if you're given the number of grams, you got to find like the pressure or volume or temperature. Convert the grams into moles, then plug it into the formula PV equals nRT, and then just solve for the missing variable that you're looking for. In this video, we're going to go over the ideal gas law. We're going to talk about how to solve problems associated with it. But what is the ideal gas law? It's a law that describes the behavior of ideal gases. Now, real gases don't behave ideally, but there are certain conditions that will improve their behavior. Real gases tend to behave more like an ideal gas at low pressure and at high temperature. The equation that you need to know that's associated with the ideal gas law is this one. PV is equal to nRT. So P stands for pressure, V is for volume, N represents the number of moles, T is the temperature, and R is the gas constant. It's equal to 0 0.08206 liters times ATM per mole per Kelvin. Now, you need to make sure you know these units because they tell you what units you should be plugging in into the equation. So notice that we see L, which stands for liters. So that means that when using this equation, V should be in liters. Now notice that we have ATM. That tells us that the pressure should be in units of ATM, not tor, not millimeters of mercury, just ATM. And N is going to be in moles, so you don't have to worry about that. The temperature has to be in Kelvin. So as long as you make sure that P, V, and T has the right units, then you should be fine. 